Breaking news, breaking news. Brianna Williams is moving on from Coach Michael Freiter and Athletic Dynamic. And she's moving on to HSI and John Smith. Dr. Gregory Hoff here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If you have an opinion and you would like to share it, please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. Today we're going to talk about Brianna Williams who recently left Michael Freiter and Dynamic Athletics to relocate to LA to train with coach John Smith. Now this is pretty much concerning because when an athlete leaves halfway in the season, this is a sign of trouble. So before I actually go into the video, I would love to hear your comment. Do you think that with Brianna Williams leaving with such urgency? that she will still be able to get fully ready for that major 100 meter championship in Jamaica. So please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. It says that Brianna thanked Michael Freiter for the work that he has done for her. But she said at this time it is best for her to move on and she wished Michael Freiter and his dynamic athletics all the best. Now this is Brianna's fourth stop in two years. She left her original coach, Otto Bo She went to train with the Titans Track Club. She ended up leaving the Titans Track Club to go with Michael Freiter and Dynamic Athletics. And now she is in LA with legendary coach, John Smith. Now, this is truly a sad moment for Brian and her family because I am sure that this urgent move was not something that she planned out at the beginning of the season. Now, word on the street is that Brianna and coach Michael Freiter were on different spectrum in terms of what she thought was in her best interest. And because they were not able to resolve many of these issues that arise for the past few weeks and months, she felt that it was best for her to relocate to LA to train with legendary coach John Smith. Now, I have always said this, that when an athlete moves from one era to the next, they must do their research. They must make sure that the coach's knowledge, the coach's personality, the coach's philosophy align with their own expectations and their own goals. Because if athletes make decisions without thinking it through, yes, think about the pros and think about the cons, that they usually find themselves in a situation where they must now make urgent decisions in order to salvage what is left of the season. Now I can tell you that based on my own experience and based on history on a whole, this is going to take a whole lot for Brianna to get back on track because moving from Jamaica to LA, it is going to be extremely expensive and now she must try to learn all these new things overnight. And I know that is going to be a lot of stress, mental stress and physical stress for her. So I am hoping that she has the necessary people around her that can help her to get through this process because this process is going to be very challenging. Now, the good thing about it is that we are still early in the season and if she can get these things together, I am sure that she will be able to get in shape and do what she needs to do because word on the street is that she was down to run on Saturday, but because she felt that she was not in good physical and mental shape, she felt that it was best to leave town immediately. Now I wish her all the best in everything that she does because I believe that she's one of the most talented young athletes out there that can represent Jamaica at the highest level. And if she uh, put everything together now, as urgent as it might be, that she is still in a position to get back on track. So do you think that at this time, Brianna has enough time to make the Jamaica Olympic team? Or do you think that she is just too late to get back on track? I thank you very much for listening. Feel free to share your comments in the comment section. I am Dr. Gregory Horton. Have a blessed day.